Welcome everyone. We're on Lighthouse Hill right now in Staten Island. We want to show you this Frank Lloyd Wright designed house. It was actually not built by Frank Lloyd Wright. It was designed by him though. It's windy, sorry. And there was a prefab company called Marshall Marshall Burston. I think that's it. Something. Ah, I wish I remembered. Well, anyway, I have to talk softly because we're in a it's a private neighborhood. And we're going to walk up the block past the house. This is the Crimson Beach House that Frank Lloyd Wright designed, but the prefab company built. Check it out. I can't talk for me to see, but it's really pretty. It's named the Crimson Beach House because of the lovely Crimson Beach tree that was on the property when the Cass family, who commissioned the house, bought the property. There's a number of newspapers here. You can see a lot of cars in the yard, but I want to be able to see if you can see some of the sculptures in the garden, and there's a gorgeous set of uh, right designed the furniture and the pool area. You can see down there, and all the this overlooks Richmond County, uh, Richmond Town Historic Society. You remember we went there. And there's a really cool sculpture here. And I think we're going to turn it around. The house was built in 1959 and shipped here from Wisconsin, where it was built, uh, where it was assembled at the prefab company. Wright himself was never on the property, but aside from the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum in Manhattan, it's pretty much the only Wright designed building in the city of New York. Can you see that? Oh, it's exquisite. I wish we could go in. There's the mailbox. You know, Wright designed all the features because he didn't trust his clients to furnish the houses with their own dumb ideas for furnitures and interiors, so he took care of everything. If you can look through the bushes, you'll see the pool. And the patio. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we just came to the bottom of the hill so you can see what the house looks like from the back. It overlooks Richmond Town, and that's where we are now, it's a neighborhood in Staten Island. Okay, we were up, up there was Lighthouse Hill, now we're in Richmond Town, but if you look at that tree right up there, this tree, sir, right here, just below you'll see the red crimson detailing of the Crimson Beach House. Now, stay tuned, I'm going to show you a better shot in a second. You were coming? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Right in between these two chimneys, you can see some crimson painted deck furniture and a glass lantern that's from the pool deck. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in if I have to. But I want to, maybe I'll be able to see it from over there. Okay, we have Stacy to thank for this. She helped us locate the rear facing facade of the Crimson Beach House. And we went down into, uh, as we just said, we're in, uh, we're in Richmond Town now. Up on the hill was Lighthouse Hill, but I'm going to turn around now and I'm going to show you, you can see the pool deck and the glass and check it out. Whoop, where is it? Let me see. Okay. Can you see all the... You're going to move over here so you can get it out. You can see an umbrella. Planted roof. You can even see one of those glass lanterns I was talking about, right? There's a, uh, here, find this tree, this pointy tree, and then right here, you'll see the, uh, the, 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 the sculpted elements from the lanterns and the other sculpture that, so it's sort of like a, uh, kind of gives you the sense of like a, like a Japanese garden almost. Wright's work was always supposed to tie into the natural surroundings and have, give you a peaceful Zen feeling when you were in, the, in there. I'm going to cut here and I'm going to zoom in and get a close up for you if I can. It's difficult. It was built, you know, for privacy and we're doing everything we can to uh, 
thwart that. <laughs> Here we go. shed there and this is where we put our garbage cans that's pretty much it uh, did I sound nervous well there were two ladies down the street and we don't want to look like we're casing the joint yeah we're doing this surreptitiously because it's somebody's house and uh, it's actually the second owner the Cass family uh, stayed in the house their entire lives until they passed away and then the second family uh, moved in and they're the second family it was given oh yeah it was given uh, the house was made a state landmark a historic site in 1989 and uh, that's pretty much the story that's Richmond town over there you can see that steeple we were at historic Richmond town earlier in the summer check out our video called Stacy of Sunnybrook Sunny Farm on the Prairie and if you like that, stay tuned for Stacy of Sunnybrook Farm on the Prairie Part 2. I'll be waving as you drive away. We've been holding the sequel uh, for just the right moment. Here's the street. I can't really tell you where it is. Well, I guess you can. If you Google the uh, Crimson Beach house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, you'll find out exactly where it is, and then you can come see it. But I really don't advise you come on a tourist type trip for this because it is somebody's house and we were getting some funny looks from some of the ladies who were walking dogs and such. So thank you for joining us. This was the Crimson Beach Frank Lloyd Wright House on Staten Island. Thanks for joining us.